Okay, so I'm here today not in my natural habitat, but in Lex's natural habitat. Lex, would you prefer to be smart or happy, and why? Happy. I think about this a lot, actually. If everyone was happy but not smart, the world's the world's doomed in like a couple of years, but we'll all be super happy about it. <laughs> so not ideal, but like everyone would love it. Whereas if you're smart but not happy, I don't like to say that I'm smart, because I don't think I'm smart, but I do think that I think about things a lot, and I think that contributes to my unhappiness. <laughs> if you could choose one superpower, that's a boring question. What's your biggest regret in life? That's too personal. If you could marry a fictional character, who would it be and why? I'd marry a fictional uh, character. None of them? I don't know. <laughs> well, I quite used to fancy Thor from Divergent. I think yeah, you big, did. Big thing. But I wouldn't want to marry him. He's like... It's he's damaged. Intense. He's damaged. Who is the love interest? Is it Levi in Fangirl? Yeah. I could probably marry Levi. I assume the fiction is like written fiction, otherwise it would be like Josh Lyman. When you said receding hairline. Oh, you could not marry Josh Lyman, he'd be so annoying. He'd be great. He would think he was better than you. Yeah, and I think he's I was better than him, and then we just have a great marriage. Of arguing about who's better than who. I have very functional relationships. Uh, what's the last book that you read that you simply could not put down until you finished? I read Room, that I couldn't put down. I don't even know if I really liked it, I just had to know that, well, yeah, things. I read Carry On, which is the fan fiction that's like Harry Potter, but not Harry Potter from um, Fangirl. <laughs> it's a fan fiction of a book that's like Harry Potter, but isn't Harry Potter, from another book. Which sounds confusing, but kind of makes sense once you've read the other book, which is Fangirl. Look at that. Colours. Abstract. No. Bold. It's a damn good cover. Damn good cover. Okay, well, my phone's locked. What television show do you plan your day around in order to see it live? <laughs> in order to see it live. That's what I, <laughs> first. I don't watch any television live. What generation? When was this quiz written? 2008? Did, was this written on a carrier pigeon? Extracurricular activities or sports did you participate in when you were in high school? I think my parents liked me to have like a sport and an instrument. <laughs> I sound like the devil. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that. They didn't say, darling, you must have a sport and an instrument. And it wasn't lacrosse, guys, so it's fine. I didn't um, know what lacrosse was properly until I went to University of Exeter and I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Lacrosse is really weird. Over the course of like time, I did like gymnastics and I did singing and then I did tennis and I did piano and then I did guitar lessons. I think I did running. So well rounded. I did running briefly. But I didn't really enjoy any of these sports. I don't like organized stuff that makes me better as a person. I have to do it by myself, begrudgingly. Yeah, I, I just did like, recorder, and then, <laughs> and then my mum was a piano teacher, so I did piano lessons with her. Which fictional character do you believe is the most like yourself? Basically any character that just intensely has anxiety and overthinks things, like the lead character in, Fango. um, <laughs> no. Although I was reading Fangle the other day, just having a little cry, like, I feel the same. <laughs> Um, no, uh, who is the lead character in the boyfriend list? Uh, Lockhart. Ruby... Oliver. I feel like I intensely, especially as a teenager, identified with her. Yeah. She has panic attacks and she has problems with friends. They were like my entire teenage experience in a book and it just made me like, oh god, I'm not alone! And Rosianna got it for me for my 17th birthday, so... Friendship. And I did lists before, like, lists were super cool. Like, I did lists and then also Princess Diaries did lists as well. And mm. All American Girl, I think, mm. as well, did lists. Yeah. I love lists. Um, I don't know, like, I mean, Hermione's always the one I go to, but I don't know yeah. necessarily that she's the most accurate. Um, maybe, like, at a time in your life, but not now. Yeah, when I was But then school, maybe she would have become you now, who yeah. knows. But there aren't that many characters that I read and think, oh yeah, that's me. Although, I was re-reading re really Beautiful Ruins, which is this great book about uh, by Jess Walter, Hollywood. In the past, in the present, it kind of goes back and forth, and it didn't it's Lee and so, you know, all these different things that I can't really summarise. Like, it's a really weird but great book. And there's a character called Claire who works in a production office, and they all make fun of her because Claire, um, who, although has been working there for a long time and reads all the scripts and the stuff, always says, I don't love it. And that's what I always say. Like, I don't love it. And then they say afterwards as if love had anything to do with it. And I just read it and I was like, oh, fuck, that's me. That's, that's you. That's me. You're Claire. I think I sent it to John and he said, lol. <laughs> if your life was a movie, what actor would play you? I get told a lot that I look like actresses, but that's because I think you always just cling to those little fleeting moments when you see someone in a certain facial expression or with a certain hair colour or yeah. something, you go, you're that person. Yeah. So when I had red hair, it used to be Emily Blunt because she had red hair in um, Devil Wears Prada. But since then, it hasn't been Emily Blunt because obviously I don't look like Emily Blunt. I just had red hair. It doesn't make sense, but I'd love a film about me where Kristen Stewart played me or where Kristen Wiig played me. Basically, basically I want to be played by Kristen. 
Um, I always think, well, Jennifer Lawrence, because we share the same birthday and like an eternal bond, and I just want to be her. Mm -hmm. um, or like Maggie Smith. I also love Kate Winslet, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> Alison Jamie, oh my god. The last question comes from our friend Ariana, who says, talk about tattoos. I have two tattoos. One is on my wrist and one's on my ankle. And they're both like nerdy fantasy tattoos, but one of them people often think is either like Chinese or Japanese writing, because it's Tolkien's monogram. So I always tell people when they're like, is your tattoo in like Chinese? I tell people it means like, spring roll. Oh, it's so abstract. I love it. So abstract. I don't have any tattoos, but I really, so there's, I, my thing was, if I still want it after, first it was one year, and then it turned into like three years, because I, you know, I became more aware of my mortality and death. Anyway, so originally I wanted a full figure of a lion on my wrist, on like, on this wrist here, which is still naked. Um, but now I think what I want is the word lioness in my handwriting, but in that way that you can't entirely tell what it says. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna think probably maybe get that later this year, but who knows, I've put it off so many times. And I'm also getting a lioness themed tattoo this yeah. year, because I have, you can only show it like this. Oh. There we go. So I have a stag on this wrist. doing the robot. And I am doing the robot. And then on this wrist I'm gonna get, um, a lioness to like balance it out, basically. Yeah, you've gotta balance your animals out. Because I was gonna get a lion, not a lioness because of the hair. Um, that was my feeling about getting a lion is that I didn't want people to think that it was like a patriotic thing and it made me kind of nervous about it for some reason. Like I In felt... America being patriotic is fine. In the UK being patriotic means you're basically a racist. Yeah. Because people... It's weird to be proud to be British because the British have done terrible things. So when someone's like, yes, I'm so proud, you're like, but have you read any history? It's a different thing. It's Three lines different on thing. the shirt. Three lines on the shirt. It's coming. Skin is temporary because... We you can die. shave it off. If you enjoyed videos like this, then don't go to Lexi's channel because her video is so much better than this. <laughs> Not true. So true. And um, probably except for the one that we made together <laughs> over there. Alexa's channel is Tyrannosaurus Lex with three X's. You have a quick way to go to your channel. Nope. Nope. Okay. Cool. Great. Well, have a nice day. See you. Goodbye.